That's all I got. Fresh is brought to us by director Mimi K and stars Daisy Edgar Jones, Sebastian Stan, and Jojo T. Gibb. The horrors of modern dating, seen through one young woman's defiant battle to survive her new boyfriend's unusual appetites. All right, so before I get real deep into this review, I want to put something out there. If you know nothing about this movie, if you haven't seen a trailer for it, no one's told you about it, no reviews, you just know nothing about this movie, stop right here and just go watch the movie. I'll go ahead and put it out here in the beginning. It is worth seeing. It's a really good movie, but go see it totally blind. That's how I saw it, and some of the revelations you get in the second third of the film are all that more impactful if you know nothing about them going in. Now, for those of you that have heard something about this movie or seen some trailers, or you just don't give a damn about going in blind and you don't care about the slightest spoilers, because we're not gonna have big spoilers here, but there is one thing in particular we gotta talk about when talking about this movie. Then welcome, let's talk about this movie. So Fresh is about Daisy Edgar Jones's Noah a young woman who is having a bit of a hard time on the dating scene. She's finding that men just aren't what they used to be. Chivalry is long dead. But one day, when a chance meeting with Sebastian Stan Steve starts to renew her faith in the opposite sex, she starts a whirlwind relationship. Steve's that perfect guy. He's really nice, he's sweet, he does things for her, he's still a man, he's got a good job, he doesn't seem like he has many, if any, flaws. He's invited her to go on this spur-of-the-moment vacation at this really swanky nice place that she's always wanted to go to. Romantic life seems like it's started to turn around for Noah. Now up to this point in the film, it seems like it's a pretty damn funny romantic comedy. There are some genuinely funny moments in this movie, especially in the first few minutes. We meet and get to know Noah and her best friend Molly. Noah seems like a pretty low-key, mousy, yet very likable character, and Molly is that character that we all love to see. She speaks her mind at every turn, and she's the one in the film that is spitting facts from beginning to end. Jojo T. Gibbs as Molly was honestly one of the best characters in the whole movie. The movie feels pretty good up to this point. It is standing a bit above other romantic comedies so far. But something does seem a bit off. You don't know what it is, but as you're watching it, as they approach this vacation they're about to go on, there's something that's nagging at you in the back of your head. You can't place it. You don't know exactly what it is. The movie did a really good job of covering this up, but you know that there's something. There's something about this situation that's not quite right. Right. And I don't mean that, oh, it's a movie, so it's not totally realistic. No, even in movie world, something going on here with Steve is just slightly off. And if you're thinking that, well, yeah, you're fucking right there is. I'm not gonna spoil exactly what it is, but what I will tell you is that this vacation is not what all it seems. And once they get to their destination, well, the tone of this movie drastically changes. We go from pretty funny romantic comedy to really dark horror and fucking body horror by the end. This movie is fucked up, man. Like, even though I said that I thought something was going on here, I never saw this crazy tonal swing. I never saw where this movie was gonna go. And even by that point, I didn't see where it was inevitably going to end up. It's such a change and so out there that the rest of the movie just has you on edge because you know by that point, nothing is out of bounds. So you just don't know where the story's gonna go. And that made it so such an awesome watch. I really liked this film, and what I liked most about it was that each aspect of the film is done so expertly. When the movie is being a cute little romantic comedy, it is a great cute little romantic comedy. When the movie is being a hardcore thriller, it's an awesomely terrifying thriller. And when the movie is being straight up body horror, it is some of the best body horror I've seen in quite some time. There are moments in this movie that are so goddamn tense. Send me to prison for anything I've done right now because my asshole is so tired. It ain't nothing getting in that motherfucker. Now this crazy tonal and story shift in the second third of the movie is where most movies would just keep it. It would run off the audience's awe factor of just having done that. But Fresh says, no, fuck that. We're taking it a step further and they actually include some substance after that as well. The movie explores a 
lot of themes and I don't want to ruin any of those. Just know that there's a lot going on here. Our characters aren't just all one-dimensional characters. They all have depth and layers. There are things that each of these characters want and need and those things are explored in this movie. There are also other things in this movie that some characters do and like that are explored a lot further than I ever thought the movie would. And this did wonders for the middle portion of the movie. Here they continue the story further. They continue to explore things and bring new things up and keep you not just interested but very invested and engaged the whole time. There was not one moment in this movie where I wasn't totally glued to the screen. And while after the first third of the film it does transition from comedy to more thriller and horror, it never fully loses that comedy element. There are some darkly comedic parts throughout this film. Like really dark humor. So dark that you're gonna kind of question yourself when you laugh about it. But questioning your sanity or not, you best believe that this shit is funny as hell. It's dark as all get out, but it is really funny. Hell, the movie ends on a laugh. And speaking of that ending, by the way, holy shit. As this movie goes on, it's very grisly subject matter comes up quite a bit. And we actually get to see it in great detail. And while the movie does have its gory moments in that middle section, and we do see some icky gooey stuff, it's not until the end of the movie that they stop and say, okay, we've been talking about it a lot. Our subject matter definitely deals with it, but we haven't shown you a lot of it. We've talked about it in great detail and made you think about it. But now, since you are good and you sat through it all, we're gonna show it all to you now. And man, this movie gets really graphic really quick. Do you like blood? Do you like violence? Do you like just really fucked up violence. Then Fresh has got you covered, motherfucker. Like watching someone graphically have their face bashed in with a fucking shovel cover. The violence and gore in this movie intensifies mm, exponentially by the end of the film. And I fucking loved it. Not only is the movie violent and gory, but it is fucking brutal at times. There's an altercation closer to the end of the film between some people, and it is just so fucking visceral and brutal and bloody and violent and just all those fucking words. Like the whole time you're watching it, you're just like, oh, oh. Oh, damn, fucking hell. And even a few, Ugh. it's fucking great. But the ending's not just superficial gore and violence. It's also really satisfying. After watching all the fucked up shit that happened in this movie, the way it ends just put a really big smile on my face. Now, even though there is definitely some graphic as hell violence in this movie, the most disturbing parts of the movie don't even really show that much. There's a theme in this movie that we get to see at great length in some parts. And there are some parts that don't really even show much violence. They show something that I can't talk about, but it's not really violent or gross in a visual aspect. It's the thought of it all, the way that it's presented to us. These are probably some of the most vomit-inducing, if you will, scenes in the movie, and they're not even that graphic. Really, they're not graphic at all when they happen. And that just goes to show how well this movie was made, and how great of a job director Mimi Cave did. Now, I've gone on and on about this movie enough. I don't really want to talk much more about it because I don't want to ruin anything. Performances are all really good, the effects are all really good, the effects are like really good. Most of them look practical by the way. And there's definitely some parts in this movie that are pretty gag inducing. So gorehounds out there, you should like this one. Guys, Fresh was a fucking awesome movie. I honestly can't come up with many, if really any shortcomings that this movie had. There's gotta be something, but I'm not thinking of it right now. This movie was just really fucking good. It had great performances, great effects, a biting sense of humor, and regardless of what type of movie the movie was being at any given time, it did a great job at that. The story is one of the most interesting, entertaining, and intriguing stories I've seen in a long time. This is one of the great ones in my opinion, and while there are definitely parts in this movie that can be a bit hard to stomach, it is still absolutely, 100%, undeniably, without a doubt, a unicorn. I was not ever expecting this movie to be this damn good. I love this thing. Go watch it right now. That's it. You don't need to know anything else. Just go watch it. I mean, bring a barf bag because some of you might need that though. So there it is, guys. My review of Fresh. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you want to help out the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below. I'm going to go jarhead and get some of the awesome benefits to go along with that like these guys and possibly join my top tier and become a bad motherfucker like my man Greg C and Dragon Con. If you like video games or you just want to see somebody who's not so fresh at playing them anymore, then check out my new gaming channel, Jag. Link in the description. Any support is appreciated. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, stay sexy, Oklahoma City. Fuck this shit.
So I know I was kind of vague about what this movie is specifically about, but that's because you're not supposed to know going in. That would ruin the experience. I would love for everybody to just go into this thing thinking, oh, I'm watching this cute little romantic comedy and then getting all that. I mean, because quite honestly, my experience went a little something like this. Oh, so what's this? It's a cute little romantic comedy. Ha ha ha, that's, that's kind of funny. Oh, it's kind of R-rated, that's neat. I'm enjoying this a little bit more than I expected. Okay, where do they go? What's going on here? What, what, what the fuck is happening? Oh, oh, no, oh, no, don't, don't do that. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. Oh my God. Yes, yes, run, run. Oh, oh my God, yeah, oh. Ooh, oh man, that's, that, that's awesome. That's fucking gross. Jesus Christ, that's fucking gross though. It's fucking awesome at the same time. Yeah, something like that. Ooh.